I am here at the Bertrand Hotel where members of the Central Command team of the EFF, those 40 members, are actually meeting behind closed doors. And you've quite, quite correctly cited and said that um, this is a time for those 40 members um, to actually reflect and discuss on um, a number of issues. Uh, quite frankly, reflecting on uh, last week, uh, as you know that last week, Friday, they were uh, in the free state town of Senegal where they shut it down completely. Uh, they, they, they're likely to actually reflect on such issues, uh, but also other issues that uh, we expect them to actually touch on are issues of the by-elections. I was with the Secretary General of uh, the ANC earlier on, Esma Khashule, and now we're expected to hear uh, from either the, the Secretary General of the EFF, Marshal Ramini, or uh, you know the President of the EFF himself, um, Julius Malema, but also other issues, uh, Desiree, that are actually, uh, you know, we, we can expect them to talk on is um, this week, uh, the finance minister this coming week, I beg your pardon, finance minister Tito Mboweni will be delivering his medium term uh, budget policy speech or rather tabling it. And this, of course, we all know comes amidst tough times uh, within the economy. And of course, uh, COVID-19 making matters actually uh, worse. Uh, we expect them to probably talk about the state of um, our ailing SOEs um, in the country. Also, um, on that issue of the medium-term budget policy speech, we saw this week um, Finance Minister Tito Mboweni, uh, you know, somewhat causing a few rory on social media there when he posted his team, his core team, which uh, comprises of uh, former editor Ranjeni Munsame. Uh, and of course, we all know that she was implicated um, at the Zondo Commission uh, last year. She was implicated by senior hawks of official uh, Mr. Rolofsa and it's alleged that 140,000 rand was, pa- was paid uh, by secret slash fund of the intelligence to settle her car debt. Um, we know that the EFF this week had called her and labeled her a paid spy. They had told Moen to actually remove her from his office, failure to do so. They will actually escalate this issue and they've given um, the finance minister seven days uh, to actually reverse um, her appointments and reverse any contractual ties um, with um, Munsa May. Um, they've also criticized him as well, saying that it was a reckless decision for him to actually appoint somebody who was actually implicated in such allegations. Uh, We then saw the Deputy President David Mabuza recently, um, I think it was on Thursday or Wednesday, when he had said that he would raise um, the issue with the Finance Minister and um, ask, um, you know, what what this this decision, I beg your pardon, was actually based on. Um, Other issues as well that, uh, you know, were under the spotlight this week is the issue of, um, you know, the plight of the Nigerian people, them protesting um, you know, against um, the SARS, the Special Anti-Robbery squad in Nigeria. We've heard that the AU chair, uh, President Sil Ramaphosa, also weighing in, urging the Nigerian government to respect human rights and the rule of law. We've recently heard the Secretary General of the ANC, Ace Mahashule, also weighing in um, on such issues. And I, I think you know, Desiree, you know, the EFF has always been uh, talking about the unification of the African continent and um, the opening up of borders. So we definitely uh, do expect a comment um, on uh, that issue. We also saw in regards to the issue of Senegal, um, the DA laying charges against the economic freedom fighters there. Um, The MP Mbuyuseni goes over a song he sang at the Senegal demonstration. So, I mean, these are just a number of issues we are uh, tasked to actually ask the EFF leadership on, and hopefully they shall be weighing in um, on such issues. We are told that we will be, uh, you know, going in for a photo opportunity as members of the media shortly. Uh, We will take photographs of the, uh, the, the CCT, the 40 member CCT members and um, shortly after that uh, they will brief us um, outside. Thank you so much uh, Natasha for setting the scene for us. We will definitely look out for the outcomes of that meeting.